Hello, welcome to Hashtag Trending. I'm Samson Seas, captain of the Seven Seas. We're going to give you another edition of the show with a cool breeze. Check out these hashtags if you please. I'm getting a little carried away there with the rhymes. Well, this is what we're focusing on today, so let's get cracking. Are we rolling? Good. Many of us know that when it comes to war, certain individuals or groups profit from it financially. One can trace the origins of many of these conflicts in the past decade to weapons manufacturers. And where do you think most of these weapons are produced? You might have guessed, the United States of Arms. I mean, America. And these figures speak for themselves. You know you could be living anywhere on this planet and still be affected by America's warmongering policies. Well, this has been the case for at least 100 years, so it's only natural to see Mr. Zari's tweet resonating with many people on social media. Just like this one on Twitter, we have Ali Hadi saying, That's all the murderous US empire knows, death and destruction. They can't even supply basic medical supplies to their own people. That's how useless the world's strongest and richest country is a fake economy. More on that as it develops. Now we have Zohar on Twitter also. He comments, The US thought the Islamic Republic would evaporate before 1980. I am a Sunni Muslim, but Iran is just an example of resistance to us in developing countries. It's the country where Sunnis, Shias, Jews and Christians live without terror from the state. An example of a secular state. Interesting facts there. Now we have Le Monde also on Twitter. He comments, Finally, someone has dared to say it to their face. The truth needs to be known and accepted for there to be any chance of peace. How true. Well, here are some painful facts. Yemen has been at war with the Saudi-led coalition for five years now. And Yemen was one of the poorest countries in the world, before the war anyway, relying on three-fourths of its food imports. And these numbers are staggering. The United Nations says around 16 million Yemenis wake up hungry every day. And this number could exceed 20 million if we do not act fast. And to make matters worse, this happened. Just for a second, I want to speak directly to the pilot or pilots responsible for striking that food convoy. How can you sleep at night knowing that so many children are going to go to bed hungry because of what you did? Anyway, let's get on with the comments. On Twitter, we have Sinan who says, You may try sending it to Yemen who are dying of hunger, but some wild Saudi people may intend to cook it on its way to Yemen. How sad indeed. Let's see the clip. Devastating, isn't it? Moving on, we have Rhonda, also on Twitter. She says, US-funded Saudi coalition continues to bomb civilian food supplies amid the corona ceasefire. The US and WHO have also cut aid to the same Yemeni people that they have been purposely starving for five years through an immoral blockade. Where is humanity? Good question indeed. Now we have Care International UK. Half of Yemenis have no access to running water and the country's health system is in a state of collapse. If coronavirus becomes widespread in Yemen, it will be devastating. Very true indeed. May the 1st is International Workers' Day or Labour Day. Labourers mark this day to honour the struggles and gains made by their predecessors. And this year was no exception, despite the coronavirus outbreak. Check out these photos. Yeah. 
As if Africa wasn't already grappling with food insecurity, a second wave of locusts, those little creatures, is hitting much of Africa and the Persian Gulf region, ravaging crops and threatening food supplies for over a billion people. Who says humans are at the top of the food chain? Before we get locusts and other little insects whizzing around in our studio, let's quickly read some comments, shall we? Now, on Twitter, we have Ramesh saying, this video reportedly of Jaisama area is alarming. Locust attack can make losses much higher than of COVID-19. This is serious. This virus can be seen with naked eyes. And here it is. Disturbing indeed, that's what it was. Now, on Twitter again, we have Minna saying, lest we forget the other catastrophic situation threatening millions with hunger and wiped out livelihoods of the weakest for years to come. And we see the images quickly for this one. Okay, moving on. We have Muhammad. On Twitter, he says, Without action, a global locust crisis could cause 8.5 billion US dollars in economic damage. The World Bank is focused on helping farmers recover. Well, we wish them well. Aside from Labor Day, we'll talk about another international day on today's show. The World Press Freedom Day. A day to celebrate the fundamental principles of press freedom and pay tribute to journalists around the world who have lost their lives in the line of duty. But in Israel, the land where international laws do not apply, and on the day to honor journalists, they get attacked by soldiers simply for doing their job. You know, violence against journalists, or the press more broadly, is quite common in occupied Palestinian territories. So, here we go. The comments. On Twitter we have Ahmed. He says, Israeli occupation forces committed 255 violations against journalists in 2019. And we do have the clip for this. Dear. Moving on, now we have Sajot on Twitter saying, Marking World Press Freedom Day, 100s of Palestinian journalists were killed, injured and kidnapped by Zionist occupation soldiers and many international journalists were killed or at least attacked by Zionist occupation soldiers in occupied Palestine. What's new? Dear oh dear. Now we have Nader on Twitter, he says, The moment when Palestinian journalist Khalil Abu Athra was shot in his leg by Israeli occupation snipers while covering the protest near the borders of Gaza. Now we do have the clip for this and it's quite disturbing maybe for many of you, so just look away if you can't bear to watch. There you have it from this edition of Hashtag Trending Everyone. Remember to stay in touch with us, so leave us a comment or send us a message on our Twitter page. I'm Samson Seas. I'm about to sneeze. Can I please have some cheese? Here I go again with the rhymes. See you, everyone.